Hi there guys, how's it going? This is Matt Littemont here, welcome back to another Airball City Free to Fly video. So it's actually been quite a while since I've made one, uh, but we are back with some more Airport City Free to Fly. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a new feature that has been added to gameplay from the Maker's Game Insight. They have added the ability to ally up with three other, uh, three other players and basically combine your scores uh, to then sort of um, amass some, uh, a set number of points and then uh, basically if you come in a, if you amass enough you can enter a sort of you're entered into a like a top 100 league and things like that and depending on how how many you mass up you uh, you can win prizes and things like that so the uh, the technical term that they have used is airline alliances uh, is the new small tab down here airline alliances there we go as you can see I am in an airline alliance right now um, you get you got the list of the owner and things like that uh, alliance reputation uh, which is increased by gaining alliance reputation points and that is um, they are gained by finishing high in the weekly ranking in the top 100 for uh, the airline alliance ranking so very similar to like the top 100 for um, the sort of places where you fly and things like that. There's a little tab down here called Alliance Ratings. And basically, uh, the more passengers you fly, the more you can combine with people and things like that. As you can see at the moment, my uh, my airline alliance is currently in 78th position, which is not too bad, actually. Um, and you can see last week they got a Golden Alliance chest, Silver Alliance chest, a bunch of maps and things like that, which you can use to fly to new places. Uh, we'll have a look at those in just a second. But this is my alliance, um, so currently there we go, so there are four people in this alliance and basically the aim is to fly as many passengers as possible. So basically when using passengers for your flights, um, you will be, once you collect the, collect the income from those flights, those passengers that have uh, been used for that flight are counted towards the airline alliance total. As you can see, I've currently flown 1,144 passengers. At the moment, Tracy Royston is just bossing it and basically carrying the airline alliance really over here. But uh, at the end of the week, uh, once so it's Monday to Monday, at the end of the week, um, you get your... Uh, so last week we finished 483rd, but the alliance was only started on the Sunday, so that doesn't matter. But uh, passengers currently carried in total, so that is the combined amount of passengers carried from all four people in the alliance. And we are at 13,218 which, as mentioned before, is currently in 78th position in uh, the top 100 rankings. And then, of course, if, uh, as mentioned before then, if you finish in these top positions over here, uh, I believe it's... yeah, I can't remember... Right, so you get map chests anyway, you get a medium bronze chest, dice bonus fuel and passengers, things like that, but you really want to be finishing sort of above sort of maybe the 20th, so because then you get a better map set. And then uh, the chests just get better, really, and things like that. So you want to be finishing around about 20th or better, really, ideally. And then what you can do with uh, the, the prizes that you win from finishing high in the top 100 is if you go into your flights, there is now a Airline Alliance special tab where you've got a bunch of flights over here like this. And basically, you need a map to, to, uh, to fly to these places. So we've got absolutely tons over here. And you acquire that map by finishing high in the Airline Alliance Top 100 and opening the chests that come with it. Pretty simple, really, if you think about it, but uh, it offers the opportunity to actually, I feel like um, they've made a good uh, a good addition here because it, it, you feel like you're playing with people a lot more. I used to feel quite a lot that I was playing sort of single player by myself. They tried to make it a little bit more multiplayer with the addition of the spaceships, which I thought was really good uh, with these spaceships over here, which helps. But now they've added something else which allows us to, um, to to play more with our neighbors. And of course, the thing is, when you actually create your own airline alliance, uh, before you can, before you create your own airline alliance, you have to build this, the Airline Alliance HQ, uh, this building over here. costs 50,000 coins, takes up a bit of electricity, takes up a bit of population as well. So you'll have to bear that in mind. But you have to build this before you can go into the airline alliances. So once you've built that, you will then uh, open up your airline alliances and you'll get the chance to either create your own or join. So when you create your own, you create your own airline alliance, you name it, and you can invite your friends. Um, the thing is though, you can only invite the people that you've actually got in your, um, in your friends list. So if you've only got four neighbors, you can only invite those four people. 
However, uh, because uh, Tracy over here actually is friends with quite a lot of people, uh, in actual fact, this Sheriff Sheriff and Darren Robinson over here, I'm not actually, I've not actually got as my neighbours, but because they're neighbours with Tracy, I can actually, they contribute towards the Sedline Alliance, and I can even actually go and visit them, even though they're not my friends. However, I cannot, um, I cannot claim any bonuses or anything like that from there. But you can actually look at uh, look at their cities and see how they're doing and things like that. I think this is a great addition. Um, I think uh, a lot of people will start to go for it, and it's going to be quite a heavy and tough task at the start because everybody's going to want to do it because there's uh, all these new sort of um, all these new places, and everyone's going to want to get the stars and things like that. And there's a bunch of bonuses that you can get. And all that kind of jazz. So it's opened up a batch of new flights. It's opened up a batch of new possibilities. And it's opened up an, another way of playing multiplayer, which I really, really like. So I think Game Insight have got a, a good thing going here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll probably post an update throughout the week just to show you how well our alliance is actually doing. As mentioned before, Tracy seems to be the one carrying this. But uh, at the moment, uh, we're sort of all contributing a relatively decent share, I'd say. Uh, you, as I mentioned before, you can only have four members in the alliance, including the owner. So, uh, but you can choose to leave at any time and things like that. However, if you do choose to leave and then join another alliance, um, your passenger count will be reset to zero. So, if I were to say leave right now and then join another alliance, this 1,144 will not be added to the new alliance. It gets taken away and I have to restart at zero. But uh, this alliance seems to be going quite well at the moment. As mentioned before, we are um, are currently sort of 78th at the moment, which is uh, half half decent, it has to be said. 78, but we've gone down three. Uh, so 78th position, if we were to actually finish in this position right now, uh, what would we win? Uh, we would get a small bronze chest alliance which contains a business class bonus, fuel, and some passengers. And then we get a, a random map to one of the Airline Alliance destinations, uh, which is a very small map. But I can imagine, like, if you go further up, there you go. You get two maps for finishing in the top 40. Uh, you get three maps for finishing in the top 10. And then the very top position is five maps. And you also get a Quantum Leap bonus. So very... That's two million passengers carried, though. Uh, so... Uh, Good luck beating those guys. But there you go then. So uh, that's the new Airline Alliance tool. Um, personally, I think probably you could argue that maybe there's one or two ways of trying to mass up the passengers. Because you could say perhaps if you flew turboprops like I seem to be doing over here, uh, if you flew them hourly and things like that, you might mass up a lot of passengers. But then if you were to fly three giants, that's 1,500 passengers straight away, which would take about... Let my maths work it out. So four is about a hundred. So you're looking at about twenty sets of flights. So probably about eighty turboprop flights before you could actually mass up the same as what three giants would get you. So you, you I guess people will work around this. They will look at trying to find the best ways. I'm certainly going to study it a lot and try and find the best way of uh, massing up a lot of passengers. So far at the moment, I seem to be finding that uh, flying a few long hauls with large passenger counts and then mixing it in with some short hauls uh, with smaller passenger counts, but you can keep it ticking over quite fast, things like that. I seem to find that that's quite a good balance to go for. But whatever takes your fancy, if anybody finds anything better, please uh, be sure to drop them in the comments below. And there we go. Let me know what your feedback is with Airline Alliances. Let me know how you get on. But for now, that's it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for more Airport City Free to Fly with myself, Matt DiTomato. Cheers for watching, guys.